Well, I had to wait till I woke up 100% and could remember the whole dream. I had a dream, uh, and maybe it's because I thought at first it's just because I was thinking of the movie so much, and maybe that's the reason why. You know, because I was just thinking the other day, wow, I haven't had a dream of Romney Malcolm in a while, because I don't know where he kept popping up in my damn dreams. So, okay, cool. But last night, middle of the night dream was so silly. It, it's cool. I had a dream of it. It had to do with Romney Malcolm, Eddie Murphy, and two. Tupac was in my dream. I, it, it's a weird... I don't even know how to explain it. He was there. Wow. Um. So anyway, it starts off... It's like some family thing going on. And me being a part of it. My mom, my grandma, and them. And my mom had just told me about a dream she had the night before last. But um. anyway, it kind of tied in a little maybe. I'm not sure. Some kind of event... And also had an event to do with Romney and Malco, and it was maybe like we were going to be a part of some kind of show or award something, something, something. And Eddie Murphy was there behind like a, a bar or something like that. <laughs> and he had some kind of hair that, like, you know, like you see, you know, Chicanos or white guys have. It was like a swoop over kind of curlies. It was weird. And I can remember us wanting to take pictures with him, me and my grandma and my mom or somebody and other people in our family. And me actually having a camera this time, but I didn't like the way I looked. And I was like, oh, my weave is looking bad. And I'm just thinking all this stuff. And I still took pictures with him and he was still cool and just having fun with us. And then it went from that to Romney and me just hanging out and me and him kissing. We actually kissed in this dream because before then it was no never. Uh, anyway. Um, and then it went from that to us sitting next to each other and me going through the pictures and saying which ones I don't like. And then me and him both looking at my hair and saying, why do you, he was asking me why I have this white thing on my head, which is actually a, something that I wear while I'm in, in bed. So it was on my head while I was there and I was like, because I didn't want to want to see how bad my weave was or something like that. And we laughed about it and let it go. And he was about to get on stage to do his comedian work. And then I noticed it wasn't that many people that was out in the audience. And then it was probably like I felt like it was probably supposed to take place behind wherever this was. And this was just the opening. That's why it wasn't that many people there. And seeing him coming on stage and doing his comedy. And then I can remember after that. Us just all chilling. And me like talking to Romney Malco and Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Me talking to Romney Malco and Eddie Murphy about Tupac because I think we kind of just seen him. He was supposed to be in the facility or something like that. I, I can't remember exactly what it was. And I can remember me saying, oh, I bet you right now Tupac is just chilling around all of the commotion and all these people and just being at peace and doing something. And I was just showing, imitating what I was saying he was doing. And, you know, they laughed about it, but it was serious. It was a real moment. Because while I was saying that, I kind of went into a weird Tupac thing, like as if he was there with me and had on his glasses and his the white hat Kango thing to the back. Uh, it was just, it was funny. It was so, it was cute. It was adorable. I can't remember all of everything in details in my dreams, but I had to make sure I could remember most of it. But that was pretty much it. I had a cool dream about Eddie Murphy, Romney Malco, and Tupac. <laughs> Oh, what dreams may come. Hey, it was fun. But anyway, this is my YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Push that like, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I am Mrs. Santorita Santo. Hit me up, like me, love me, all of the above me. One love. Peace.